Hey there, Jet McLean here regarding my AT3 assignment discussing the analysis dashboard here, as you can see on the screen. The purpose of this analysis is to break down our key performance indicators, looking at specifically the midfielders in stoppages, center bounce, as well as boundary throw ins, looking closely at our, the Ruckman who wins the hit out. From there, who's first to win possession and how is the clearance made? Is it made through a kick or a handball? I've designed this dashboard for anyone to be able to use from performance analysts to coaches. Uh, it's a simple process where basically through these action buttons, you can click who's won the possession by simply clicking on either Casey's possession or Richmond's possession. From there, uh, determining who won the hit out. You simply, if it's Casey who won the hit out, you'd click either to advantage, to neutral, to opposition. So to, to advantage would mean that the Ruckman has hit it to uh, a Casey midfielder or at times a forward or a Casey defender if it's in the back half, back 50 metre area or the forward 50 metre area. If it's neutral, the ball has is in neutral territory for either the Casey midfielders to win or the Richmond. So it's not a definitive um, hit, hit out. Or it may have been hit to the oppositions. In that case, Richmond have one possession. And they've, uh, although the Ruckman from Casey has won the hit out, Richmond has got first possession. Going down the line, so I've, I've set up the dashboard so it's in a um, in sync in how a play would be typically um, rolled out in live play so as you're watching the footage in this case the Casey versus Richmond game quarter one of the round six VFL season 2022 it would be a typically a hit out first then first possession and then it's either a clearance or a handball so once you've determined who's won the hit out from there, it's who has first picked up the ball. Is it a Casey player or a Richmond player? And have they won the ball in an uncontested situation? So they're by themselves. There's no opposition on the player. They're uncontested. Or is it in a contested situation where they're competing and uh, they either have got a opposition tackling them or putting some form of pressure on them? From there, how do they dispose the ball if they do? So is it a clearance kick and it's effective? Therefore, it's either gone inside 50 or it's gone continued in the possession of the team. So in this case, let's say Casey have maintained possession and it's an effective kick. Or it might be an ineffective kick. Um, it's gone out of bounds uh, It's or it's bounced in distribute and it's now up for... Um, either team to win possession. So it's not an effective kick. Maybe it's gone backwards, so you've lost territory or it's scored. It hasn't gained any metres for the team. Or in some cases, it's a turnover. So the opposition have um, gathered possession. If it's a kick, they've marked it, intercept mark. Um, or if it's a handball, they've been able to read the handball and, and gather possession from the handball. So that would be a turnover. So it's a, it's a simple process to follow, uh, to summarize the layouts, easy to use for, for coaches and performance analysts to be able to determine which team is uh, strong in terms of center clearances, boundary throw-ins and stoppages around the ground. Uh, I found it was helpful to, once the hit out was determined, to make sure that um, you, you can determine who's got first possession by rewatching the tape. Uh, or, and also with the kick waiting for the possession to um, reach its destination before determining um, was it effective, ineffective or turnover. From there, when you're uh, analysing this, I've also set this up that you can analyse both teams uh, uh, at the same time. So to help with analysis, um, it's more efficient this way. So you're able to um, work out how effective Richmond are throughout their midfield. And, and Ruck Connection, as well as Casey at the same time. Thank you for listening.